Okay, contemporary collaboration. Um, how do people work together these days? Uh, and some um, some ways of, of maximising that. Well, certainly as a as a learning proposition, improving effectiveness of, of teams and, and collaboration has gone through so many changes with the advent of, of technology and the way that technology enables not only learning but in importantly, collaboration. Uh, in my experience, I think, though, one of the best starting points when you're looking at collaboration is always the, the work processes, the operations. What, what are we here to achieve? What are the tasks that need to happen? Uh, so conversations around activities and tasks and operations uh, typically needs to be a starting point. But on top of that, one of the, the greatest ways of enabling collaboration is through generating within the, the cohort group an awareness of different styles and different approaches. And the reason for that is that uh, the whole point of collaborating is to leverage different perspectives. And uh, in order to have different perspectives, we need different people. If we're all looking at the problem from the same direction, then there's no opportunities for synergy. There's no, there's no benefit of having different people than just having one person doing it. And so therefore, having a constructive, strengths-based and positive discussion around our different approaches um, is, is really a key aspect of effective collaboration. And these days, when we've got so many different mechanisms to enable that, whether that's webinars, uh, meetings, face-to-face uh, -face, um, or virtual, um, we can leverage those activities to improve the way we understand each other and then ultimately the way we work together. Uh, because effective collaboration is really about an effective appreciation and an understanding of those we're collaborating with. Let's <laughs> go.